Hey Glam Dolls, I'm back again with another eye look created by using my Wet n Wild Corpin Break palette that I purchased from my local drugstore. So if you want to see more on how I put this $5 palette to use to create this eye look that you're seeing, keep watching this video and I will see you all in another one again shortly. Later dolls! I'm starting out by priming the entire mobile area of my eyes. So with the one for my fingertips, I'm going to take this primer and blend all the way up towards my brow bone. And now I'm using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in a color called Medium Deep, my face powder to help set that primer in as a transitional color to help me to blend my eyeshadows together more smoothly. So here's the palette. Can you believe this is being sold in your local drugstores for only $5? I mean, insane color pigmentation and quality. Wet and wild, stay leveling up and coming through. Look at how gorgeous these colors are, okay? Stop sleeping your drugstore makeup. I mean, I'm just saying. So with a fluffy blending brush, I'm picking up the color labeled Transition and popping that directly into my crease. Blending in a windshield type motion is giving me a light wash of color. And I'm going to go back with a pointed precision brush. And here is where I begin outlining my crease. And I love this nice rich chocolate brown color. As you can see, it's not chalky when applied. Color you see, you are definitely going to get and I want to outline my crease and then go back with a pointed precision fluffy blending brush and begin blending out that crease because I don't want any harsh lines. So I'm going to blend, blend, blend some more. I'm going to keep on blending. We're going to blend some more because we don't want any harsh lines. So a little bit, a little bit of this black is going to go a super long way. Like, whoo, that is some pigmented black eyeshadow but I love the gradient effect that the eyeshadows is now starting to give me as you can see I'm putting it directly over where I place the brown eyeshadow to create a gradient looking effect and I'm gonna go back and pick up the fluffy pointed precision blending brush and begin blending that out again we're going to continue blending blending and blending some more and blending some more and blending 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 you're going to keep on blending because we don't want any harsh lines so now that I done blended my life away, it's now time to apply the lid color. So I'm taking this golden, rusty-esque looking eyelid color and popping it directly on the mobile area of my eyelid. I'm using a flat shader brush to do so. What I love about the flat shader brushes is they're dense, yet they pick up a lot of product. And again, with this eyeshadow palette color you see, you're definitely going to get. And did I mention only five dollars mm -hmm. off camera false eyelashes and wing liner so here is a old school beauty hack where another youtuber nikki tutorials literally broke the internet about okay some years ago using this nivea post shade balm as a face primer now it's made for men don't tell red because i'm hiding mine but you can use it as a primer i love that it has helped change the texture of my skin and keep my skin very moisturized applying my favorite foundation of preference is my makeup forever ultra hd foundation and with my facial blending brush i'm gonna start by gently blending out my foundation and once i get it going i'm then going to rigorously blend my entire face together and i'm using my facial blending brush to do so again my favorite foundation is makeup forever ultra hd foundation simply because it definitely gives me a natural skin looking finish so highlighting now and using my la colors uh, concealer underneath the areas of my eyes as a highlight and i'm gonna use my make my maybelline cover stick right there as a highlight also underneath the areas of my eyes i love the combo of the color that it gives me my elf cosmetics cream contour kit right here and once i get the contour going i'm then going to go ahead and use my in stylish beauty blender to blend out that highlight underneath the areas of my eyes as well as to blend out that cream contour that i applied with the elf cream contour and then once i get that going again my facial blending brush we don't want harsh lines 
So my facial blending brush with whatever foundation is left on it, I'm going to go ahead and start buffing and blending it all together. My favorite blush, Milani Cosmetic Rose de Rio, a little bit goes away and voila, the completed full finalized look. Top with Miss Glamour Added Cosmetics Basic Nude Lippy, which will soon be available for purchase. And a little bit of lip gloss and yeah. This is the full completed look. Everything that I'm using and that you're seeing will be listed down in the description box below. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. And I will see you in another one again shortly. And get that eyeshadow palette. It's worth it. Later dolls.